As you come into the northwestern corner of the gallery, you see Mary Ann Barkhouse's work. If you're familiar with Mary's work, a lot of it focuses around European culture and then infuses it with a lot of North American indigenous culture and animals. Despite the fact that she wasn't able to attend the residency, there's still these little connections with other pieces of work inside of the gallery. The birch tree here is different from the maple trees depicted in the other works. However, it still follows the patterns of the sap suckers in early spring, and then hummingbirds come in after them and actually lick up the sap behind them. What grabs me immediately is these three large tapestries, this big, grand European style, but when you actually look at the materials themselves, uh, they depict in North American animals. Especially when you come up close and you look at the behind of one of the pieces, the birch one, you get to see this wonderful texture which really shows a lot of the craft that uh, they put into the work itself. The blues are actually created by a chemical process where they turn that tone when they are exposed to sunlight. Talking about again the, care, the themes of extraction versus care, what it means to take care of a forest versus actually get something with it. And on that same theme itself, we have the birch vessel, which are reference to the indigenous practice of birch chalices, a very long process. It allows you to look into the chalice itself and actually see the textures of the birch bark itself. But they're also infused with silver work. We also have this little squirrel. Now, as a side note, it came into our gallery earlier in the exhibition. This piece actually wasn't there at the time of our opening. This was added later on. Though it's a late addition, it's a nice addition because it works as a lid for the birch vessels themselves. While still looking at the side and seeing this squirrel, which uh, for me at least kind of playing on those themes of spirituality and Christianity, again, looks like it's looking up and praising something. That's just my interpretation though. You guys may come up with something different. If you want to see this work in its entirety, or if you've seen it before and you just want to see it with an additional piece that's been added, come down to the gallery. It's wonderful to see it all completed.